guys and welcome back to another skincare review. So today we're doing one by the brand Imagine or not Imagine Image Skincare and it's their Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. Now, I have a little sample size tube that I got from them a while back. Their full size is $79. So, um I I've been playing with little sample size tube things. Plus, I mean, it's serum. You don't need that much to put on your face at a time. So, even one of these you can get a gist for, you know, how it works or doesn't for you, so I don't mind that one bit. So, this reads, This comforting serum works effectively on all skin types to soften the appearance of wrinkles, support collagen, and resist against environmental damage. Algae extract helps to firm the skin while hyaluronic acid provides an intense plumping effect. An ultra-effective form of vitamin C helps to brighten, tighten, and fight the visible signs of stress and fatigue that commonly appear on aging skin. Physician formulated. Indications for sensitive and redness-prone skin, dry or dehydrated skin, sun-damaged skin, oily or acne-prone skin, and post-treatment use. Directions apply to uh, clean skin morning and night for best results. The ingredients, if I can read them off of here. Aqua, sodium hyaluronate, magne uh, magnesium, asorbyl phosphate, um, imperata cylindrica root extract, linoleic acid, phospholis caprylic slash capric triglyceride, uh, soybean sterols, glycerol stearate, Palmitoil pentapeptide 4, acetyl hexapeptide 8, orange peel extract, uh, centella asiatica extract, tetrahexadil or he tetrahexyl diesel asorbit, palmitoil ogliopeptide, I don't know that one, um, Derudoside, sterile glycerizate, uh, grape seed extract, uh, camellia sinensis leaf extract, um, coralina officinalis extract, panthenol sorbyl or yes, sorbyl as uh, palmitate, ascorbic acid. Sweet almond oil, lino. Wait, these are harder and harder to read. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Linolea. No, linoleum. Dopropyl. I have no idea on that one. I'm so sorry. Uh, PG dash. Um, Di dimonium chloride phosphate tocopherol uh, jojoba seed oil squalane tocopherol acetate uh, yeast polysaccharides olive leaf extract citric acid diapotassium glycerizate uh, wait Regia Umaria flower extract, Philanthus Umbelica fruit extract, Disodium EDTA, Magnesium Aluminum silicate, uh, Glucosamine HCL, Algae extract, Sacra, wait, Saccharomyces. Cerave seed extract, aloe leaf uh, ex juice powder, polysorbate 20, xanthan gum, leucine, valine, tyrosine, arginine, and lysine. Now I'm gonna hit stop on this till the phone starts ringing. And there was no message. So anyway, those are the ingredients. My apologies for stumbling through them so badly. I didn't know they were going to be that bad or I wouldn't have bothered. Uh, but yeah, so unscrew the cap here. Got to take my glasses off, make it a little easier, a little less messy. 
Normally I would have my hair pulled back for this, but oh well, we're not doing that today. It ain't that important. It's fine. <laughs> so you only need a little bit. Whoop. And it's fairly watery for uh, being a kind of cream serum like this, but just kind of rub it between your fingers. It's almost like a cinnamon orange scent to it. It's really nice. I'm actually in love with the way it smells. Which I know is kind of a weird thing to say about a serum, but honestly, it's like really, really nice. <laughs> My last one was also a vitamin C one, and it just smelled like orange, which was good, but this is like cinnamon orange. I don't know why it smells like cinnamon but it does, and I'm here for it. So, anyway, you kind of just give it a little bit to soak in. Um, I like to wait a few minutes in between steps of my skincare routine before moving on to the next. So, like, I would give it a few minutes before going ahead and putting on my moisturizer over it. So, that's just me, though. You do you. But I like that this one... Because of that almost more wateriness to it, it sinks into your skin faster. It doesn't leave that, like, oily layer that some do. Like, Sunday Riley, I'm looking at you. Uh, <laughs> that was the last one I used before this one. And honestly, that one, good lord, I had to, like, blot away excess and stuff from that one. But this one gives, like, a nice natural glow to the skin and everything without being greasy, which is huge to me. <laughs> um, and... It doesn't make you break out, or it doesn't make me break out anyway. I can't speak for anyone else's experience. Um, but I do find that it has a lot of just really nice things that it does for my skin. It's helped with breakouts. Um, normally, I would say it helps with redness, but I was out in the sun the past few days, so I do have some redness because of that. That's not really something that the serum's going to help with. That's just sun exposure. Um... Uh, I don't think I've been using it long enough to see if it's really helped with fine lines or not, but I'd like to think maybe, <laughs> so, but in general, I like this one. Do I like it enough to spend $80 on a full size? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Maybe one day when funds are looser, you know, but as of right now, being my broke bitch little self, I don't know that I feel comfy spending that much on a serum. But if there were a sale, <laughs> if there were a sale on this, I do like this one an awful lot to a point where even if it were marked down like 40% or something, I would consider that. I would totally consider that. So it is a good one though. So price point aside, I do like this a lot. Um, honestly, I got this as like a freebie in the mail and I didn't think much of it when I got it. It kind of got shuffled off into the basket of serums to try, and since I just finished up my other one not that long ago, it's what my hand hit first, so it's what got plucked into the uh, skincare fridge, and I've been very pleasantly surprised by it. I just wish the full size weren't so spendy, because I otherwise would totally be down to buy it, but that price point, though, is awfully steep. But like I said, I'll keep an eye out for if I ever see it on sale. If I ever see it on sale, I might consider that. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Take them or leave them. So anyway, guys, that's it for this one. You know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.